All right, hey guys. Um, just wanted to go over using multiple coordinate systems in Cam2 Measure. Um, so right now I got a plane line. A, sorry, a plane, a circle, and a circle. So I'm going to create a coordinate system here, and we're going to use our plane one, obviously. Um, actually, I'm going to click Advance. So my line is actually going to be between two circles, and I want to use plane one and my origin is going to be the center of circle one i'm going to say okay i'm just going to move my arm down here so yep we're on zero if i go x positive we're over there that's good so i'm happy with coordinate system one alignment <clears throat> um and i'm going to create a folder i'm going to call this cs1 and then i'm going to pick these features, I'm going to drop them into CS1. Okay, so coordinate system one, we're good. I'm going to measure a couple things. So I'm going to measure circle. Actually, I just took a bad point. All right, there's a circle. Okay, so two features. Notice coordinate system one is my active coordinate system. Coordinate system one alignment is active. So I'm going to come in here. I'm going to type in these nominals. That should be zero. That should be 2.75. I'm sorry, 2.765. I don't need Z. I'm going to uncheck that. I want my diameter, 0 0.7875. I'm going to go in here. I'm going to type the nominals for this. This is minus 2.756 should be at zero. Uncheck my Z again. And 7875. Um, if this is not active, you need to actually click in here to turn these on and off, these checkboxes. Okay. So if you do this, this kind of cleans up your list. Show only selected. You uncheck that, you get the rest of the data you can possibly pick from for on your report. So I've got two circles. Notice they're outside of my folder. So I'm going to shift pick those, drag them, put them into CS1. And the reason you do this for using dual coordinate systems is once you have a folder, you can right click on the folder, go to properties, turn, turn these on if you'd like, right? So I'm just going to make sure it's in inches. I'm going to use coordinate system one, modify close. So now I can go in at any time if I'm in coordinate system one and change these nominals if I've ever made a mistake. Okay. Um, so now I want to create another coordinate system. So I'm just going to go and I'm going to measure a plane and you'll see where I'm measuring here in a second. So, so we got a plane I'm going to do a simple alignment here. Plane, line, and point. Okay. So there. Oh, didn't want to make that big. I wanted to go away. All right. So now let's say I want to report out some dimensions on this side. <clears throat> okay. What you need to do is come into here. And you need to have your nominal data as well as IJK. So point on plane minus two point, or I'm sorry, minus five point nine oh four seven minus point oh three seven four minus point four one nine four. And the IJK, once you just click in this box, this pops up, just say OK, it automatically populates that. So I'll do the same thing with my line. I need my axis, IJK, and I need my midpoint, XYZ. So again, type in those nominals. 
Now if we have CAD, we obviously don't have to do this. Let's see, I made a mistake on that. Okay, and then the point, um, we just need the number. Okay, so now that the nominals are typed in for those items that you measured while coordinate system one is active, you can create another alignment. <clears throat> so this is the next step, create coordinate system two, and you need to create two. So we're gonna have a nominal. So our plane is gonna be plane two nominal, line one nominal, and point one nominal. <clears throat> Okay, so there is my coordinate system, but all of my dimensions are going to come from the actual measurements. So I'm going to create coordinate system 2, actual. So again, this is going to be plane 2, actual, line 1, actual, and point 1, actual. And I want to align this with coordinate system two nominal. Okay. So now, uh, plane two is still active. I'm going to go measure a circle, and then we will test these results. So, here is my circle. Coordinate system 2 is active. My center, I'm going to type in my nominal. I don't want Z. I do want a diameter. Okay. And then for reporting, right, so we're going to create a folder. This is going to be CS2. I'm going to grab these items, drop them into CS2. I'm going to right click on CS2 and tell it the properties. So, circle five shows my correct. So if I pick, so I want to report out coordinate system one, circle three and four, coordinate system two and circle five, and I click on report. <coughs> I now get coordinate system one with my correct actual nominals, coordinate system two now, correct actual nominals. So, hope this helps uh, with dual coordinate systems.